eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We, my lovely people. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Where can we begin? I don't know what in the cheap wine is going on over here. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it. We have all seen Jasmine's display uh -huh, of her wine drinking late night conversation. I don't know what is going on in that wine, that cheap little mixture, but I'll tell you what it was serving last night. It was serving arrogance and it was serving truth. Now, y'all already know how they say it, right? When you drink, the truth falls out and they bay. Jasmine got over there and got to sipping and she sipped on some kind of potion that made her say exactly what she was thinking. Baby, we can't make this up. Jasmine, shame on you. Shame on you. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get this read on because let me tell you something. The things that she was saying about the Davis children, because see, that's what we have to call the four that she has by Philip. The thing that she said about the Davis children is really, really sick. She said they have one uh, kid and then there's just plus four. Like, girl, what? What did you say? Now, let's get to this read. Jasmine, you have some nerve. First off, you have some nerve to get on here with a man that looks and acts like the way this one does here, okay? That's number one. Number two, you got some nerve to get on here talking about your bae is cooking you dinner after work. And he continuously gets on here with his YMCA staff t-shirt that if he does have a job, and I'm going to say he doesn't, uh-huh, if he does have a job there, he may be sweeping out the gymnasium or something of that nature because, see, you had enough nerve to get on this here app and put him, do y'all remember, put him on here with a tie on and say that babe is doing work. He's at work. He is FaceTiming me from work. So where is that job that he needed to be all dressed up for? Yeah, because we know he wasn't dressed up for a job or he doesn't have a reputable job. Instead, he was at his friend's wedding and he FaceTimed you while you laid in the bed looking like COVID had went round 50 upside your head. Yes, uh-huh. But the nerve and the audacity that you have to get on here and try and praise the child that you have by him and then throw the other ones to the side. Uh-huh, baby. No. Mm -mm. For that, you're going to catch this read. Jasmine, let me tell you something about yourself. I don't care how many times you go live today trying to say how people are hating on you. Baby, there is nothing to hate on you about. I mean, just take a look at this picture here on the screen. Uh-huh. You're goofy, you're doofy, and you're spineless, okay? I am so sick of coming across all these women that have no spine, no backbone when it comes to their children or the man they bring in their life. If y'all don't believe me, y'all see the beef that I am in right now with a spineless person. Uh-huh. So let me uh just tell you that, all right? Jasmine, let me say something. See, your plans got foiled and fumbled, right? You want to continue to say that you have baby fever, and we're going to tell the truth. And like I said before, it's not about the kids. It's about the parent, okay? But sometimes you got to point some things out. You thought that you were going to have a golden child that would keep this man around. And when he was born and you found out that he had some defects and he needed a little bit more attention, not only did you and his father throw him to the side, but you then decided, well, since he may be able to get a check, I'm going to then pamper him online and I'm going to try and do things to make myself look good. But it didn't keep Chris around. It didn't keep his truck from being stolen and repo from the side chick. It did not keep him in the house at night. It did not have you uh huh. up at three o'clock in the morning, laying on the bathroom floor, he and and hawing and, and getting sick because you couldn't find him. Girl, let me tell you something. It's nothing but sickness going on in that house, whether it is COVID, whether it's the flu, whether it is pink eye or whether it's a mental problem. I can't make it up. I can't. I really can't. Then you sat over there to go on and say, don't worry, my kids are going to have Christmas, all eight of them. Well, let's just make this very clear, Jasmine. We're not worried about Chris's children. We know that you're going to order a full course spread. We know that you're going to make sure they got neck bones, potatoes, goblins, chicken necks, and everything else, and make sure you have your cheap wine. It's the other four that's by Philip that we are worried about because those are the ones that you act are like, you know, you didn't birth them like they're not yours. Goodness, I guess they may have Christmas because Philip is out. And, you know, I got to just say this. At least they got a halfway daddy. 
At least they got a halfway daddy because they mama is not even halfway. As you said before, legendary gets 98% of your time and the other kid got to, you know, they got to supply themselves with a 2% that you have left over. This is what you said. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Also, this is my whole thing about the situation, Jasmine. You are mighty, mighty bold all of a sudden. Where did you grow these new stripes? Where did you come from? Where did you get this boost of, boost of just, uh, I can say and do what I want and y'all are either going to take it? Because, honey, 12-6 is right around the corner. And I don't know what you thinking about because the man is standing right there next to you that's pumping and hyping up your head. The other crash test dummy, he needs to realize that he was still in the picture when 12-6 happened last year. He needs to realize that he was still in the picture when you couldn't afford to throw Amaya a birthday party and you had to have your mother do it. And he stood there at the birthday party looking at the cake like he was ready to gobble it up. See, these are things that, Jasmine, you act like people forget. A lot of people forget that when you put something out here on this World Wide Web, that it is out here forever. There's always one person screenshotting it, screen recording it, and then this bobo head, he, she still got it up. See, that's the thing. And Jasmine, no matter how much muscle milk you sit and drink over there, you still look unhealthy and you still sound like a fool. And I said it. Girl, you got some nerve. I'm telling you, she's got YouTube on fire out here, y'all. This woman right here, <laughs> baby, ooh, the truth came spilling out right with that wine as she poured it, didn't she? Then she wants to get on here and stand up for her actions last night, talking about she's tipsy and don't remember. Girl, you knew exactly what you were saying because you knew that's what you harbored in your heart. You harbored in your heart hate or, I don't know, animosity or something against Philip's children. It's like since he walked out of the jail doors, you have just checked out on being a so-called mother that you pretended to be for years. You have let these kids get sick. You've let these kids get skinny. You've let these kids go downhill. And you always sit here and say, but, you know, their dad will do it. Their grandma, you know, on their dad's side, he's going to help me. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. So you have focused all your attention on one child. And it's very clear. Because, see, all that wine did was bring out your inner feelings. We've seen you on here for years. Call your children despicable names. Talk to them despicable. Say despicable things. Treat them like the maids. Treat them like the butlers. Make them clean up just to get a fruit snack. So don't come on here all of a sudden today pretending, okay, that you have done something you just can't remember. I don't remember. Girl, it's on tape. Go back and watch it. Because, see, you were out here offering edited classes. Oh, I'm going to teach y'all how to edit for $250 and you were supposed to be showing, but somehow you always keep the good stuff in your videos, the reactable stuff in your videos. You always leave tidbits in there. And then all of a sudden, I don't remember. Girl, get, get out of here. Close the front door. Jasmine, I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm going to tell you, these women out here, there ain't no lower you can go. There ain't no lower you can go. I mean, why don't some of these reactors are just as low and all the stuff coming out? Why don't y'all all get together and do a Mamiana reunion? Because I am starting to see a pattern in these women that they think is cute and they think is funny. And then they want to get on the next day and they want to think they're going to go off on their so-called haters when there's nothing to hate on. It's called seeing it in the black and white in front of your own two eyes and making you a judgment. And then listening to the words that fall out of your mouth. That's what makes us say and do the things that we do. Girl, mm -mm -mm. when I tell y'all, this one right here may have done it for Miss Dukes because she's got everybody mad. Me and every reactor, everybody is rolling her under the carpet and it is about to go down. I know you guys have been waiting on a video and a live about her, which we are going to get done. I wanted to check in and let you guys know I am on the case and I am watching. I cannot wait to see what you guys say in the comments below.